because I like guys, but I also identify as a guy, if that makes sense. In my head, I feel like I'm a transgender female to male. For online celebrities, getting canceled is almost an inevitability. Cancel culture is a relatively recent term for an online phenomenon characterized by people being called out and publicly shamed for perceived problematic behavior. And of course, being canceled can result in a massive loss in influence or life. So, with that in mind, let's see the five YouTubers who were canceled. Number five, Logan Paul. Logan Paul has made a career from appearing on social media. He made his acting debut in 2014 in a short film called Rainbow Man. From there, he appeared in a 2015 episode of Law & Order Special Victims Unit titled Intimidation Game. He then appeared on other television shows including Stitchers, King Bachelor's Pad, and Foursome. The primary way Paul earns income is from vlogging. He makes an average of $273,000 a month from monetized videos on his YouTube page, Logan Paul Vlogs. And while he is super famous, Paul is no stranger to online controversy as well. He might be one of the most controversial YouTubes in history. Wildly popular with a young demographic, the vlogger is decidedly unpopular with older viewers and social media aficionados. Described as a loose cannon, it's hard to predict what Paul is going to do next and how people will react to it. Paul had been a little too quiet lately. The controversial YouTube star, however, was ready to change all of that. Rolling into a press conference in London, fans were just waiting to see what crude statement would come flying out of his mouth. Paul, 24, managed to surprise everyone with just how far he'd take his beef with KSI and Paul poked fun at KSI over alleged abortions. The YouTuber said that KSI, whose real name is Olijad William J.J. Olatunji, was on his fifth abortion. He continued, that's five babies dead and I think I'm gonna return the favor and I might kill you, man. I might end you, man. People took Paul's comments as anti-abortion rhetoric and few people were thrilled. Twitter is busy canceling Paul for his commentary, but it's far from the first time he's been allegedly canceled by the Twitterverse. The recent statements come on the heels of another odd announcement made by Paul. Back in January 2019, Paul made comments about being gay that didn't sit well with the LGBTQ community. On a podcast, he said, we're gonna attempt to go gay for just one month. Paul's comments were made in jest, leaving members of the LGBTQ community feeling hurt. He was even canceled over a controversial video. Paul has never seemed to be good at picking and choosing what to say or film. He caught the ire of many followers in December 2017 when he posted a video depicting a dead body. Paul, who was visiting Japan at the time, decided to film in Suicide Forest. The park is actually known for its high suicide rate. Paul and his cohort stumbled upon a recently departed man and opted to film the scene. Not only did Paul choose to shoot the gruesome discovery, but he uploaded the video to YouTube. Shortly after the video was posted, it was pulled from YouTube. Paul issued an apology, but followers weren't buying it. and. A petition to remove Paul from YouTube amassed almost 500,000 signatures. Number four, Tana Majo. Some know Tana Majo as an outpouring vlogger on YouTube. Some know her as the former girlfriend of Bella Thorne. Others know her as the social media influencer behind the failed event, TanaCon. Majo faced backlash and criticism, even from longtime fans. Earlier in 2020, amid accusations of racist microaggressions and refusal to follow social distancing guidelines, YouTubers Simply Nessa and Kalen Berry released videos in which they called Majo out for alleged racist comments and behavior. Meanwhile, some of Majo's former offensive tweets resurfaced and began to circulate again. What's more, many of Majo's followers criticized her for openly partying alongside other social media influencers during the COVID pandemic. 
Many of her followers argued that she was influencing her young fan base to do the same while downplaying the significance of the COVID crisis and ignoring guidelines about wearing masks and social distancing. Tana is also known for her fake marriage to Jake Paul and her dramatic story time videos, which has cultivated a negative reputation and she faced cancellation. Number three, Ace Family. The Ace Family is without a doubt one of the most drama-filled YouTube families out there. Every day their fans seem to be exposing them for something they did wrong, and it's pretty hard to keep up. The family consists of the former basketball star and dad, Austin McBroom, Instagram influencer and mum, Catherine Pays, and their two daughters, Elle and Alia. Last year in late June, a video surfaced online that showed Pays and McBroom sitting on a sofa with their two daughters, seemingly prior to the birth of Steele. In the video, McBroom discusses how he's been working out and slaps his derriere as if to showcase his gains. Then McBroom performs a similar action on the rear end of his daughter Elle saying, oh god damn leading to an avalanche of outrage against the Ace Family patriarch for what many are considering predatory behavior. This is so disturbing. The way his daughter put her hand in front of his to stop him from doing it again is heartbreaking. Deplatform the Ace Family and throw Austin and Catherine McBroom in jail now, one critic tweeted of the situation. Number two, Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas has been an incredibly compelling character to watch on YouTube since 2007. For over a decade, she's posted mukbangs, hysterical personal vlogs from her kitchen floor, and gotten into more public feuds than maybe any other influencer. She's battled David Dobrik, Ethan Klein, and Charlie D'Amelio, to name a few. Despite evading being canceled for over a decade, the YouTuber's latest drama, which now involves uncovered instances of racism and an online beef with a pair of dancing TikTok sisters, people are finally calling for Trisha Paytas to be canceled. The 32-year-old YouTuber's latest controversy comes after she labeled TikTok influencers Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio as disrespectful and unbecoming for their rude behavior during their first ever Dinner with the D'Amelios YouTube show. In the video, 16-year-old Charlie and 19-year-old Dixie sat down for a family dinner cooked by celebrity chef Aaron May, with James Charles joining as a special guest. Serving a traditional paleo with snails, Dixie made retching noises and threw up after trying the dish, while Charlie asked if there were any dino nuggets available after the dinner was finished. Charlie, as the most followed creator on TikTok, then complained that she wished she had enough time to hit 100 million followers a year after hitting 1 million because she wanted even numbers, which left her fans upset. Directly after the video was uploaded, Charlie D'Amelio quickly started to lose followers in upwards of 1 million before bouncing back to hit her 100 million milestones. But during this dip in followers, Trisha Paytas decided to join in on the online pile-on against the sisters in a series of TikToks, where she called the D'Amelios out for their behavior. Along with the D'Amelio sisters, Paytas also criticized James Charles for defending them and for always being the victim in every single situation. In response, James Charles shot down Paytas and Dixie decided to be petty and do a dance to a resurfaced audio of Trish singing the N-word. While no one is right in this situation and weaponizing racism by boosting white women using racial slurs was extremely tone deaf and the wrong thing to do, the internet has started to rally behind the D'Amelios and James Charles, calling for Trisha Paytas to finally be canceled for attacking children half her age for just being bratty kids. Mainly, people are confused over how Trisha Paytas, arguably one of the internet's most problematic influencers, can possibly be calling for anyone to get canceled at all with a track record like hers. Trisha Paytas is no stranger to controversy, and as wild as it is to say, 
If she were any other person, she wouldn't have a platform anymore. And number one, Laura Lee. Laura Lee, a beauty vlogger known in the beauty world for her friendship with other beauty heavyweights like Jeffree Star, Manny Gutierrez, Nikita Dragon, and Gabrielle Zamora, seems to have a big controversy in front of her. Several years ago, her old racist tweets resurfaced, and as some believed, she might have been paying the price in the form of lost beauty contacts. But the drama has a tiny background. A documentary involving the controversial YouTubers Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson was recently released, in which Star was critical of other YouTubers in the makeup vlogging scene. Laura Lee, along with some of her friends, all of whom are prominent in the scene and used to be close to Star, responded with a photo of them all giving the finger. This set off additional drama, leading fans to troll through their old tweets. They started uncovering racist and offensive tweets, not only from Lee, but other online stars involved in the photo, such as Gabrielle and Nikita Dragon. And one of the tweets read, how do you blindfold a Chinese person? Put floss over their eyes. Hashtag dumb gook. And another used the N-word saying, ends in Paris. What? I thought they couldn't afford to leave Compton, LOL. Tip for all the black people. If you pull your pants up, you can run from the police faster. Hashtag you're welcome. Things like this usually don't fade away unnoticed. So she got canceled for that. Who is your favorite YouTuber who got canceled? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.